Hi there YouTube. So as promised, I thought I'll do a very quick video because I'm getting collected in a minute um, about narcissists and yes, I suppose other predatory toxic people and how they behave in club, group, small community, gym, leisure centre, swimming pool type uh, communities and sort of dynamics. So the reason why narcissists, particularly sociable narcissists, okay, they're the confident ones that think they're good people, they think they're kind, and um, they're very helpful, they're very attentive, they're very knowledgeable. Not really, they just pretend to be. Um, they will absolutely radiate towards either being members of, or uh, volunteers within, or staff of gyms, swimming pools, leisure centres, uh, anywhere where there will be a regular uh, appearance of potential targets and therefore possible supplies, aka future victims. So I'm going to give you an example. The, the one that immediately springs to mind is my own experience, which was I was predated on specifically within a swimming pool and then encouraged by my narcissist, who was I was not in a relationship with at all at the time, to join the gym. So this allowed him additional opportunity to groom me. It, it gave him an opportunity to observe my habits because you know yourselves, when you go to the gym, for example, or the swimming pool, for example, you go on your own almost always. If you do go with anybody else, it tends to be same sex, your best pal, your best male pal or your best female pal. Very rarely do couples go to the swimming pool and or gym together. And narcissists know this. They, they like any hunting animal, want a lone target. And then the reasons why you're going to the gym or the swimming pool, it's usually because you want to make friends, yeah, you need to fill your time, or you want to look better and feel better. These are vulnerabilities. Again, a narcissist know this. And then you're going to go on a regular basis. So you're going to go the same time each day because maybe your kids are at school or your, your girlfriend's elsewhere or you, these are the days that you work part time. You, you are offering a narcissist and sexual predator, specifically the perfect environment to watch, learn from, befriend, then predate and use you. Because you've told them, I want to look better, I want to be, be healthier, I'm here on my own, this is my routine. Yeah, This is what narcissists want. It is the perfect hunting environment. So that was my experience and if you want to read a wee bit more about that, because it was through a local authority swimming pool who were aware that my uh, narcissist was a predator. They were aware that he would find uh, both partners and sexual supplies on the premises. He would use them on the premises. He would share images on the premises. He, they were aware of this, but within local authorities in Scotland in particular, you can't just sack someone for misbehaving, especially if that person goes, oh, I was in relapse with my addiction or it's my mental illness. OK, so narcissists always have an excuse ready as well. So they will radiate towards jobs that have this kind of policy of not really sacking anyone, just moving them on. Yeah, uh, big organisations, big companies that will cover up sexual harassment and sexual abuse and breaches of uh, data, uh, as in going in their computers to find out where somebody's address is or their second name is and then finding them on Facebook. Hmm. So uh, narcissists. They're intelligent, they're not emotionally intelligent, but they're intelligent enough, to, like like sexual predators. They know where to find, they know where to hunt, they know where to get what they want. So the other place that you will find a narcissist will be particularly comfortable and successful in hunting victims is anywhere around addictions and mental illness and extreme vulnerability. So grief conferences, the church, Alcoholics Anonymous, Narcotics Anonymous, Sex Addicts Anonymous, Gamblers Anonymous, online and offline. Again, why? These are vulnerable people trying to get better, trying to get help, probably lonely because that's the, you know, that's the, that's the, the nature of addictions and those types of uh, things like grief. They isolate you, don't they? They make you radiate towards trying to get help and you want to make friends and you want to find validation and you want to find comfort. Narcissists are always there to bring you the validation and comfort. But what they want back from that validation and comfort is sex, adoration, obsession, maybe money, definitely your time. And they will always destroy you as we all know narcissists will do. So narcissists will radiate towards any role where they can feel important and powerful and put their arm around you and help you and support you, whether it's on a treadmill or with the 12-step program. And that is why they hunt. 
there. So watch out for anyone over familiar, overstepping boundaries, touchy feely, not quite observing workplace policies, asking for your phone number, asking for your Facebook, asking for your Insta, asking for your Twitter, uh, just wanting to be friends. I'm here to help you. I'm here to support you. This is inappropriate behaviour. They are either in a place of work or a place where they too are vulnerable and there should be policies of no sexual contact, no online contact between members of that community. And that is why you need to be super, super careful of narcissists within gyms, leisure centres, even school playgrounds. They lurk. Trust me, I know. Uh, so be very, very careful. Now, I don't come at this with no personal experience. I come at this having been predated on by many men within the gym and swimming pool and health sector and mental health sector, even the police, okay? What you just need to do, those tiny alarm bells, those tiny moments where you're thinking, should he have said that? Or should she have said that? Or should we be doing that? That's it, that, sh that is your red flag stop. Okay, that's your gut, your instincts, that's your own moral uh, compass, that's your boundaries, just trying to kind of come up and just say, hello, this isn't okay. I did not listen to those. And I spent two and a half years in an extremely abusive relationship, mainly sexually abusive. Uh, and again, it's all in, the, in my book, Dangerous Normal People by Eldot W. Hawksby. And I continued to write books. And I also write, wrote about the aftermath of that type of abuse. And my third book, which is a sort of sequel to Dangerous Normal People, is called The Forgivers Club. And it's about how I became incredibly promiscuous, um, incre even more vulnerable, but yet I thought I was in control. So narcissists have this layer upon layer upon layer of damage. So if somebody comes up to you in the gym or the swimming pool or AA or NA and it just feels off, no matter how you think you're in control, do not engage.